Well, another raging homophobe has revealed to everyone that he is in fact gay after founding a gay conversion therapy clinic. Now, as you can see by the look on my face, I am completely and utterly shocked by this revelation. You know, it's surprising that the people who are the most vocally homophobic are actually more insecure about themselves than anything, which is why maybe they focus a little bit too heavily on things that don't ostensibly affect them, like homosexuality and gender identity. I'm looking at you, Steven Crowder. But this is a story about a man named McCray Game, and he didn't just found one of many gay conversion clinics. He founded the most prominent one. Now, I'm still shocked by this because looking at this photograph of him, I mean, everything about him just screams heterosexuality to me. So I'm sure that this is really difficult for many people to believe that he would be gay. But he did write in a Facebook post, 20 years in ex-gay ministry, I was wrong. Please forgive me. Now, I do want to share a brief clip from his interview with the Post and Courier because it really does show how involved he was with this gay conversion industry in actuality, and he was in deep, which I'm realizing is probably not the best choice of words, but nonetheless, this is his story. I started Truth Ministry, but I believed the gay community was, and the world was lying about um, homosexuality and this whole subject. I just felt like it was a, a big ruse and, and um, there was a lot of deceit. And I was trying to, you know, tell the truth. But now, I think it's the complete opposite. I believe ex-gay ministry is a lie. Conversion therapy is not just a lie, but it's very harmful. But when it takes it to the point of you need to change and here's a curriculum, here's how, how you do it and you know you haven't changed yet, keep at it, it will happen. I told my wife, I'm like, you know, my attractions are worse than they ever were. I struggled more so trying to deny them than being able to accept my attractions and just say, you know, I'm, I'm a gay man. That's just, that's just me being honest. I was a hot mess for 26 years and I have more peace now than I ever did. I never felt like what we were doing was conversion therapy, but we were absolutely offering conversion therapy. Early in my years, I used to get a lot of death threats. I used to get a lot of hate mail, just on a con constant, continual basis. At the time, I took a level of satisfaction that I was getting all this hate mail. It was kind of like, you know, proving that I was doing the right thing. Eventually, it started having an effect upon me to, you know, maybe you need to back off. Maybe you're going in the wrong direction. The words, you're going to go to hell if you don't do this or if you keep doing that. The words, you're going to go to hell, stink. Okay, so this really, it has me torn, but I think that instinctively I'm leaning towards fuck this guy because on one hand you know I can empathize with someone who is struggling personally to accept themselves but to take it a step further and actually create a company an organization where you take that insecurity that you have and you pass it on to others there's something especially egregious about this where you know you have done damage to the community you taught people that their natural feelings, their natural attractions wasn't just uh, wrong, but they would be punished for it. And sure, you're a product of that, you know, religious environment that led you to that as well. But to take it that far, it, you know, it's just something that is difficult to uh, forgive and forget after, you know, you caused all this damage. So, you know, ideally, 
to right this wrong, he would spend the rest of his life atoning and, you know, starting LGBTQ youth shelters in his community. Those do save lives. So maybe you can make up for the lives that you ruin in some roundabout way. But I mean, I'm torn, right? Because how many times do we see these loud homophobes, you know, get caught with a gay prostitute or come out as gay over the years? I'm just sick of it. I'm just absolutely sick of it where these types of individuals, these religious right-wing figures, they're more, you know, stereotypically gay than someone who's effeminate and, you know, uh, flamboyant. Because nine times out of ten, they turn out to be gay themselves. Like, when I see Steven Crowder, for example, talk about homosexuality all the time, um, it tells me that there's something deep going on. There's a war that he is fighting within himself and he doesn't want to, you know, accept the fact that he probably is either gay, bisexual, or possibly transgender. Because, I mean, if you focus on something, again, that doesn't technically affect you at an individual level, then it tells me that you're thinking a lot about this. It tells me that there's a battle going on and maybe you're not necessarily trying to convince us so much as you're trying to convince yourself. So this is one of the many reasons why I absolutely hate religion. Because if individuals did not use the Bible as a moral guide, then you would just expect that most things that are natural, that we do as human beings where we don't hurt anyone else, um, that should be morally acceptable. Why does it even make sense to say that, you know, uh being attracted to someone of the same gender is immoral and it's comparable to murder isn't that nonsensical like isn't that something that at face value we can just dismiss and say okay if that holy book says that if that holy book says that thou shalt not kill but the god in that same book commits mass murder constantly maybe we shouldn't take that seriously i mean it's just we need to start thinking for ourselves and move away from religion. And if it personally makes you happy and you're not using your religion as a weapon to hurt other people, especially marginalized communities, cool. That's fine. But still, we need to try to be more egalitarian and most of all secular as a society. Because if we were secular, if we were more egalitarian... Gay rights and trans rights and non-binary rights would not be an issue right now. It's only an issue because we are violating norms and societal values that have been instilled on us largely due to religion. I mean, patriarchy is also part of the problem, but that is reinforced by the Bible and religious holy books. So it's frustrating to see these people now, after homosexuality has largely been accepted by most of society, come out and say, hey guys... I was wrong and what I did was wrong because now it's easy. What would have really made a difference is if you were brave enough at the time when we were having this battle and, you know, come out then. But the fact that you waited until it's convenient, you know, that's why I lean towards fuck this guy. Fuck any homophobe and religious pastor or whatever right wing figure who thinks that they're going to be welcomed by the LGBTQ community with open arms after they damaged our community so badly. So, you know, now that there isn't social acceptance for transgender people, speak out for them. Speak out for non-binary people. Speak out for individuals who are currently marginalized. Right the wrong. And it seems like he wants to do that. So that's, you know, that's the best that I can hope for. He said he was wrong. He apologized. But I mean, it's just, it's tiring, right? How many of these homophobes, former homophobes will come out and say, guys, I'm gay. I was wrong. I mean, at some point, maybe just don't do the wrong thing, you know, from the beginning. Maybe be an adult, stop believing in dumbass fairy tales and get your moral compass from just having human empathy. Understand that something is probably immoral if it causes pain. If I'm inflicting pain on someone, maybe that's immoral. And something that the Bible says is immoral shouldn't be the best indicator because the Bible itself is incredibly immoral with a God that is just a mass murderer. So that's all I'll say about this. Um, I just, I, I'm, I'm just tired of this shit. I'm so tired of these people. Um, you know, right the wrong and... Stop being fucking homophobes.